Jesus Carl Brooks is a bum, and he'll get what the little men get. Push! <laughs> After Tyson Fury dismissed Carl Frock, John Fury just gave him a hard time, and it seems like their continuing feud will never end. John Fury became enraged after former boxing champion Carl Frock made disparaging remarks about the Fury following Tyson's devastating defeat to Oleksandr Usyk. Scene, it's safe to say that John didn't hold back at all since, as we all know, he's not one to keep quiet. The Fury are without a doubt the most despised name in British boxing. The boxing world wasn't startled when John Fury challenged Carl Foster and Tony Bellew to a fight in the ring because they enjoy causing controversy and making news. John lost it over Carl and said, Me face to face. I'll eat Frotch alive and I'll eat Bellew alive. You want to come and see me? I'm here! And I'm ready! And I'm stepping back from no man no matter who they Fury was instantly warned by Frock that if he ever got close to the former British boxer, he would be ironed out. Carl said that if Fury ever happened to find himself close to his jab rock, he would be done. He pointed out to John that he hasn't entered a bare-knuckle bout in a very long time and that his professional boxing record isn't that outstanding. Frog warned John that using force against him would only be a mistake, thus he should immediately avoid him. To be honest, Frock was bound for this, especially after he accused John of being the reason Tyson happened. The recent defeat of Fury Tyson, who has dominated the heavyweight division for more than 10 years, is currently the best boxer in the world. Nonetheless, he lost both the heavyweight title and his undefeated record against Oleksandr Gusik. Tyson and Jan were both all rhetoric and no show, so it's a humiliating loss for the Furies to bounce back from. Naturally, Carl didn't let the chance to make fun of Fury's defeat pass him by. The British chose to make a disturbance in Tyson Fury's corner by blaming John for the Gypsy King's defeat. Three people, including Big John Fury, the fighting man, when you've got him in the corner shouting and screaming at you, whilst you've got two other people giving you advice, that means you're listening to absolutely nobody. I thought that was terrible and really unprofessional in the corner. It was Tyson Fury was forewarned by Karl Frock that as long as his father is on his side, he will never be able to defeat Oleksandr Usyk. Frostak advised Tyson to stop seeing his father, John, and he didn't stop there, in order to have any chance of defeating Oleksandr Osik. When the British person referred to John as a bad egg in Tyson's camp, it clearly irritated him. Prior to that historic undisputed title decision, Tyson Fury invited his father to training camp for the first time in an official position. However, it should be noted that John was Fury's third man, so things got congested in there. The Gypsy King's head coach, Sugar Hill Stewart, and assistant coach, champion Andy Lee, were already present to mentor the athlete. However, after the fight, footage surfaced showing John barking orders over Sugar Hill's voice. Many fans and critics wondered if this had anything to do with Fury's performance. They told Lord Ping that Tyson couldn't concentrate on Sugar Hill and follow those instructions when John Fury was shouting down his ear and smiling at him through the ropes. It's impossible to listen to two people at once. Such interference in the corner could have cost Tyson the fight John's won for making headlines each time his sons prepared for a major fight. His desperation to enter the ring personally was evident when he issued a challenge to Mike Tyson, the man himself, to face him at that historic Tyson Fury, Francis, and Ganu crossover. Iron Mike was preparing the former USC fighter for his boxing debut, therefore he had a significant role in the battle. However, John wasn't a fan of Iron Mike training his son's opponent. About that. And if I'm wrong, me and you will fight straight after. Yeah! Yeah, man! <laughs> yeah, me and the great Mike! Whatever the outcome, me and you will fight. Oh, thank you, baby. Get on there, my brother! <laughs> Boxing fans quickly called off this matchup due of Mike Tyson versus John Fury. Yes, that is just an incompatibility. Seen while their feud has been entertaining for boxing fans, no one wants to see John Fury set himself up for failure because Carl isn't a man to be taken lightly. I know what you're thinking, if John was going after Mike Carl Frock, it wouldn't scare him away. However, Mike is the damn boxing legend, he probably has forgotten more techniques than John Fury has ever learned and can send the big man crashing onto the canvas on muscle memory alone. Fans love a good fight buildup, and John's the best at providing that. However, nobody wants to watch such a one-sided match. He is even more motivated to battle the former boxer as a result of Carl's remarks. 
John Fury has a reputation for escalating his disputes and controversy too far. He made news the week of the much-awaited Tyson Fury vs. Oleksandr Usyk clash battle when he butted a smaller opponent from the USA squad. Fans weren't shocked because that is a timeless move. For you, John Fury before things got violent, John seemed to be in a good mood and the environment felt pleasant. The opponent's camp members were cheering Usyk's name as he confronted them, but even after hitting the man in the forehead, John walked away with blood on his forehead while cameras captured him yelling, We live for blood and guts. Boxing fans are ready for Carl Frog's fast response after he offered his thoughts on the situation and called John Fury despicable for everything John does. Frock posted the comments on his YouTube account. Disgusting and disgraceful what he's done. He should be embarrassed. I hope he is embarrassed. But um, it's not acceptable. I don't know why he's done it. So you've got Team Usyk at one side of the room, all chanting Usyk like you would do because you're Usyk fans and you want Usyk to win. And on the other side of the room, you've got Tyson Fury fans and Tyson Fury's team. However, Big John Fury is eager to participate and take a cut of the action. He pushes and chooses his targets. A typical large bully targets the tiniest man present. If Carl Frock is John Fury's enemy, it's because the man has sworn to humiliate the man whenever possible. However, since John initiated their beat and they have been exchanging content on the internet for a number of years, you can't hold it against him. Fury even put Carl up for an exhibition battle at Wembley Stadium, but because of their age difference, the Cobra wasn't interested in the match. Honestly, Fury is merely attempting to cash a large check. Exhibition bouts are well known for their large purses, jabs at Mike Tyson, challenges to meet Tom Bello in person, and offers to fight Carl Wembley. John is merely attempting to arrange a thrilling battle, and they aren't the only names he has on his list. This individual also has a grudge against Joe Egan. John threatened to fight Joy Egan earlier this year if YouTuber KSI paid him the $200,000 he owed him. Egan stated that a battle between him and John was planned by KSI Misfits boxing promotion, but the former bare-knuckle fighters backed out. John labeled Egan a false hard man and a fraud, which sparked their feud. It was disrespectful to Egan because he thought the two fighters got along well. Joy made the decision to challenge John once more for a face-to-face -face match in the ring following the latest butthead incident. I take great pleasure in smashing this man to bits if he ever has the courage to climb into the boxing ring with me. Egan thinks John is a bully who only targets smaller guys. While we have witnessed him sparring with some of the most powerful individuals in history, he has never actually entered the ring with them. Anger always chooses its foes who are weaker. It's high time John put pen to paper and proved his worth to the fighting community. Fans are growing weary of the discussion and lack of action thus far. It's unlikely that we'll get to see John Fury fight before the much-awaited rematch, though, because the Fury family has been quite busy with the possible rematch since Tyson Fury's defeat to Alexander Usyk. Additionally, bear in mind that age plays a significant role in this. Since John Fury is 69 years old, nobody really wants to fight someone that's senior. Carl F., however, is 46. That alone is a significant difference. Their quarrel makes perfect sense as long as it is limited to verbal sparring, but a boxing match between the two would definitely draw attention. Boxing fans wouldn't be comfortable even if Carl and Tyson squared off. That would make more sense. Carl has previously disregarded Tyson's accomplishments and questioned whether he is truly as wonderful as the fighting community portrays him to be. According to Frock, how good is Tyson Fury? How far has he come? Who has he truly defeated? Clearly, he gave Klitschko a bit of a stinker in the victory. With that jab, he simply got into Klitschko's brain and screwed him up. It was an awkward, terrible performance. Fury had those three highly notable fights with Deontay Wilder following the Klitschko bout, but how good is Wilder? Now that he appeared so bad against Joseph Parker, you begin to doubt him. Is Tyson Fury a real fighter? Who has he really defeated, aside from Klitschko, in a limited capacity? Tyson fell to his first tough opponent, which proved Carl was right. There is no end in sight to this feud between Carl Frost and the Furies, so it can only get worse. Will there ever be a match between Carl Frost and John Fury? Remember to like this video and leave your thoughts in the comments section.